Hello everyone, Foxco back again and um, yeah, you see me in a starter ship again. Um, I had a bit of a problem the other day. I closed the game down when I finished at night and as I closed down the game, update started or wanted to be started on my PC. I thought nothing of it, I just switched it off and let everything um, go as normal and when I started again the next day my save was corrupted so <laughs> I've had to start again so obviously the update the uh, Microsoft update must have caused a problem with my save because I saved and then exited and then the, the system told me that, that, that there's an update that required a restart so presumably that's mucked up my save um, so I've had to start again now I'm doing this differently. I've done the start with the um, Taladi and I've got as far as speaking to um, the Void Delta. I found the gate and everything. Discovered all the systems. Discovered the two freighters already as you can see. Look. So what I'm doing now I'm staying where I am and just sending my two freighters backwards and forwards I want to get my rep up with the boron as high as I possibly can by doing this plus making money. It is a little bit frustrating at times because what I have to do, I've got one of my freighters now which you can see the, the Demeter going to one of the biogas factories. She's got a load of energy cells on so I'm just buying and selling energy cells. It's a long winded way of making some money and also a longer way of getting some rep with the boron because the system the only thing I don't like about this DLC which I've said before is the fact of the um, race relations it's a pain in the friggin arse to be quite honest because I want to go to every um, system but you can't if you then get because I want to get rep obviously up with the boron up with the argon but by doing that the rep goes down with the uh, paranid. So you've got to try and do a balancing act. Now obviously you can use the agents. But um, again they're a pain in the ass finding them. And if your rep goes down far enough with one of the sectors. And you go into say. Because I had that in um, one of my uh, previous saves. You can't get into the systems without being immediately attacked by the paranid. Um, forces if you get bad rep with them so all those paranoid systems are out of balance to you you can't use them the same with the split you can't use the split areas and this is what I don't like so um, I haven't actually modded it yet um, I'm toying with the idea I don't because technically it's cheating um, so I'm going to try and play as but this is frustra frustrating me something chronic <laughs> because I'm used to the X games having access to all the systems and you won't. In this particular one you are not going to get access to all of the systems if you get ripped with one or two races. It's as simple as that. And so you know it's pain in the bum. Later on in the game obviously when you've got all loads of battleships then you can go do some fighting that's fine but not at this stage. So it's a I think going to try a balancing act to try and keep not high uh, race relations with the others but enough to be able to go in their systems and not get immediately attacked I don't know if we can do this but I'm going to try it anyway I'm not going to show this whole f um, starting business I'm going to probably pause it and then come back to you when I get my the um, nemesis because I've got an idea with the nemesis now to change that um, so we'll see but what I'm doing right now this is why it's a bit freaking <laughs> boring I'm just watching them now at the moment I've got the dolphin see that it's I'm not going to buy I'm not going to buy them I'm not going to buy the energy cells of 19 so what I do I sit here put on SATA and wait for that to go down <laughs> see it's gone down to 18 um, but it's frustrating because I get it to 13 and then I'll load the... Uh, I'll load up. Are not bought. She can only load up that amount. But I'll load bought. up the... the freighter. 
when it gets to level four, uh, 13 and I keep my finger over the enter button hoping that not another trader is going to buy buy them and set it up to 19 again that's the frustrating part there's there's one of my freighters now going going to his delivery point see so that, that's what I'm doing I'm just sitting here and I want to get my money up and get my rep up with the boron I want to try and get my rep with the boron as high as possible because if we get the rep up with the boron as you can see Argon Citizen 50% uh, boron accepted friend at 30 to 37 seven percent but as I get my boron rep up the argon rep will also go up because they're both friendly so both not as much but it will go up slightly and um, so hopefully when I get to the argon systems I can actually dock without using the agents we'll see um, so we'll see how this works in this particular play the series starting again I don't mind to be quite honest but yeah is a bit of a pain but it gives you um, different ways of st doing what um, than you did in the last one that you did so see how it all works but um, yeah it's a bit um, long windy oh, I figure now I need that on SATA so I will get back to you guys when I get to the stage where I've got the nemesis because I want to show you how I'm going to change that by initially doing the the plot as it wanted with the guns that it has but it's one that's once that is done because of the hub and how you can't hit anything with a nemesis with those guns we can change it to packs hopefully depending on uh, whether we can find those weapons that's the problem anyway guys um i will catch you when i'm at that stage so see you in a mo for me it's going to be a while because i'm going to be sitting here for a long time so <laughs> Catch you soon, guys. Hey, folks, I'm back again, as you can see, in dear old Nemi. And I'm all set now to do the final part of the plot. Um, it has taken a while. Um, that first bit of spiel was a seven minute spiel. <laughs> and I actually stayed there for an hour and a half. I made about 500 and something K, just sending the um, freighters backwards and forwards. Anyway, I cannot find any more uh, uh, particle accelerator cannons. I bought one. Um, all the places that you should be able to buy them, they didn't have any. But I have got, as you can see, I've taken them all from my other ships. I took them from the Kestrel and I made myself a Scorpion and I kept two um, particle accelerator cannons that were given by one of the freighters. So that's my setup now. Got four particle accelerator cannons on the front two iron shard rail guns I've sold the others that made some extra money for me and the particle accelerator ca cannon on the other uh, gun at the top at the back end so hopefully they're all set to fire once and look I hardly use any uh, energy I can have a continuous fire or I can choose level two and just have four particle accelerator can cannons or level three the iron shard rails but anyway so we're going to jump into the hub now, we're going to have a little fight hopefully. Um, there, into the hub, here we go. So this is a bit, should be a bit more exciting, hopefully. Jump device charging here we go. 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50%, 60, 70, So no 80, long runs right now. 90, jumping. Let's see how we do. With the different guns. Entering Here we go. Xenon hub. Of course, we're not fast enough. We're only 135, but hopefully they'll come to us. That's the problem with the Nemesis. It's so slow. Always, if I modded it, I would make it faster. But um, I'm not going to right now, because you can actually find engine upgrades as discoveries. So that will be handy. Anyway, let's get fighting, hopefully, if we can catch any of these. <laughs> let's hope we do better than we did last time. Took ages to kill this lot. Duke's Pegasus. Target is now in firing range. Just keep firing. 
Rapier oh. missile. You have lost recognition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, any more? Dukes, Pericles. See, the packs are a lot quicker. Range. They can track the ships better. Gate. Stop, keep going on the gate. Dukes, Pegasus. Barber, barber. Where is he? See how fast he is. We're still hitting him. Oh. Next one, please. There's loads in here, isn't there? Look, look how slow we are. <laughs> oh, I hate these slow ships. Duke's Pegasus. Target is now in firing range. Oh, it makes, makes it so much easier, doesn't it? You have the right weapon for the Lapier right job. Missile. No, I don't want the missile, thanks. Next. Next nearest one, please. Duke's Pegasus. No, Target is now in firing Wait. range. Get on it. See, the, well, the pack didn't get him then, the railguard did. Now he's firing uh, that electric thing that can take our shields down. Wait. We're getting help here. Can't get him. Come on, come to me. If you get help, it's worse because they won't come to me. They'll they'll attack for help, and so it's harder to get track on them. So I'd rather not have the help, to be honest. Nah, I can't. Let's get one of the bigger ones, hold on. Duke's Perseus. Someone's back to me, where are they? Duke's Perseus. Chicago Bay now contains Thunderbolt missile. Where are you? The Great yeah. Duke's compliments. Whatever. <laughs> the Duke's Pericles, where is he? I can't see. Because of the red colouring of the uh, hub, it's difficult to see that reticle sometimes. Dukes Perseus. Friendly to killing them more. <laughs> Wait. Come here. He's still too far away. My matches are. That one can't be all of them. No, it ain't. You see, it's a lot better when they come and attack you. You can get them because they're coming towards you. But if we've got the help there, they're not concentrating on you. So it's a bit awkward to get them at this speed. And I ain't got Th any Thunderbolt missile. Thunderbolt missile installed. Let's see if we can get one of these. Oh, one's gone cool. No, it's not. <coughs> we got to get them all. Let's target him, see how quickly we can get to him. 
Yeah, Duke's creepy. Pegasus. Let him have the missile, hopefully. Thunderbolt missile removed. <clears throat> See, we're not catching them up. We need hurricane missiles and they're very reasonably quick. Go on. Blow him up. We still got that one to kill at Bubbles as well. See what I mean about this speed? <laughs> And they're interested in all the uh, friendlies, not me. That missile's not going to catch him. Is it? Come on. Okay. Duke's Pegasus. Target left firing range. Yeah, he's going to keep leaving firing range. Target is now in firing range. Ah. See? His movements are so quick. Unless he's coming towards us, we don't stand much chance. Come on, come on, come on. Incoming message. Yeah, okay, I can't look at you at the moment. Oh, there's more small ones, look. That missile is still running and it's not hit him yet. That's it, come for me, come for me. There you go. Duke's Pegasus. That's why I want him to come towards me. Target left firing ah. range. We'll be here all Target friggin' day. Firing range. So that means another one's died. Hopefully. Ah! Needs to be within target left firing <coughs> two range. kilometers to be of any use. Target is now in firing range. Ah. Right there. Not another one. <gasps> Come on, get to him. Let's say it's wrong. These are the bigger ones though, hopefully. They're a wee bit slower. Getting so close to the edge of the hub, you can crash into the edge of the hub. Don't hit one of the friendlies. I hate this hit so Duke's close to the hub. Perseus. Target is now in firing range. See, even though the reticle is blue, we're not close enough to hit him. Get to that here.
Ha prima la mission. Perseus. Is that it now? What? Why is it telling me to target that? Um. That's a bit weird. Paranid Medusa prototype. It's telling me to target that. I'll protect him. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you might never shot it then, innit? <laughs> Didn't do this last time. It just cleared. Oh, let's stop here. Because he's going to obviously dock. I'll let him go a bit quicker. Hopefully. Well, that was better, but uh, with the fast lanes, even with the packs on this car, because um, can't turn quick enough with this size of ship. We really no, need. A incoming message. Okay. Incoming message. Mission complete. No, no, I won't close you now. Close you for now. Well, we're in, we'll fight, okay. Okay. Is that it? Talk to Hola Knee. Where are we? Let's just talk to Gate him. Gate Hub. You are talking to the automated interaction. What do you require? I know. I listened in on them for the intercom. But once they reach the chamber, I fear they will not only betray each other, but also you. I have sealed the doors, but that will not stop them for long. What do you suggest we do? I have located a possible gate to connect the hub to. It is within Thorn territory. What happens when you connect the hub to it? I will send an emergency call to the Boron fleet. If they pick up the signal and have ships around, they should jump in and secure the whole hub. There are a lot of ifs. So, what shall I do? Connect the hub as you suggest. That's it, boy. Go! Incoming message. That wasn't me, just a, as I was powering up the hub again, it re-established its message. one and only gate connection before shutting itself down. The hub must say, have saved the connection detail somehow, but wait, there's still some energy left. Let me try activating the third part pair as well. Pilot, you have performed well for a lesser creature. The Emperor Zara of Paranidia is mildly impressed with your actions in dealing with the unholy duke. The Cathedral of the Gates is under our control for now, and connection to Paranid space has been re-established, allowing transfer for all. Unholy One, you may go on your way now, and enjoy the blessing of the Emperor's Zar in your travels. May the light guide you. Roger. we done it again. <laughs> I think that's the fourth time now I've done that. <laughs> that is cool though. That was a little bit better, but it's still quite hard with the Nemesis to catch those ships. Right. <clears throat> the hub is not ours yet. It will be. They'll give it to us later. So all the gates are now open, as you can see. So where should we go first? Um, of course, I want my um, Scorpion to follow me so we can swap around, but we need to find somewhere that I can get some packs from because I don't have enough. There's an on hub, yeah, okay. Let's have a look where we're going to go. Perpetual Sin, Holy Vision Alpha, Vision Alpha, Vision Alpha, Shuru Infinity. Shall we go to this? That's where I went last time, or shall we go to Perpetual Sin? Hmm. 
Let's pop to perpetual sin. I didn't go there last Gates. time, so let's perpetual let's sin. Let's go and have a look, see. In this slow ship of ours. <gasps> Well, we're in 25 minutes, okay. So that's that done, that's the main plot done, again. So I've now got to drop the... Well, drop, I've got to make some more money. Whether I'm going to sell the Nemesis again, to be able to buy a good M3, I don't know yet. I've made up my mind whether I'm going to do that again. Entering we'll perpetual sin. Oh, this looks like a oh, horrible set. Plenty of roids. Sector map, your nemesis. Nothing on the thing, there's one gate there. What about to our right? Couple of planets there, nothing else that we can see. LF, the LFL has not showed us anything. Oh, it's a bit, I see something in the distance over there, it's probably a ship. See there? Maybe you can't see it on the video, but that looks like a ship there. <coughs> oh, and there's another one there, look. There's another just there. Might be difficult to see on the video. Let's do a sator and get closer. There's ships, I think. Yeah, there's ships. <coughs> Incoming message. What's that one? Let's have a look. Pilot, after reviewing your actions, the Empresar of Paranidia has decided to entrust you with the control of the Cathedral of the Gates. May the wisdom of the Tsar and the Holy Light guide you in your path. Cool. We've now got the hub. <coughs> Not that we're going to do much with it right now, but... So the hub is ours, so that sector will now be full of friggin' Xenon. <coughs> Has been every time. What's all this lot in here? Are these all derelict ships? So have a look. <coughs> you do get some... We did in X3 get some certain sectors which was full of derelict... yeah these are all derelict ships we might find stuff amongst this lot... wait! because I was on Sator, that did that a bit quick <coughs> yet yeah, the um, LFL is not showing us that we're finding anything here oh look at all this lot ship debris mm. Oh, what's this one in front of us? Don't think that's derelict. <laughs> Paranid mm. rapid response. Odysseus. Odysseus. Cool. Hmm, nothing um to see in here is there. Let's see if I can get my scorpion to follow me, then I can um, put a couple more guns on him. Let's just stop. Oh, why did I do that? Go like that. Come on Scorpy, can you follow me please? Hopefully, hopefully you can. Because sometimes they can't get through the gates. Command accepted. Cool. So I've got to wait for him. So I can use him and then get the um, nemesis to follow the scorpion. I know it stays well behind, but we can look a bit more. Let's check these roids. Obviously I found a different... I didn't realise it, but when you check the roids, look. If I click on that roid, it tells you down here whether it's um, got any discovery points. and. So you don't have to really go and look at every roid, just click on them and then you'll come to a one which has got discovery points on it. So far we haven't. That one hasn't. 
That one hasn't. That one hasn't. No. Oh, come on. No. There's me, I'm scanning every roid in the sector. <laughs> I never bothered looking at this. That's reading, you know, reading comprehension. <laughs> no. Come on. None of them so far. Look at that Oh, look at that one, look. 1,249, so we'll select that as target. Asteroid. Oh, it's right behind us. It's not quite, quite, not quite within 10 kilometres. Look, come on. Oh, it's so slow. See, I want the Nemesis to follow me um, in the Scorpion, so that if I do find a engine upgrade, I can then call the Nemesis to me, and we can get the engine upgrade to the Nem Nemesis, and it will put it pick up its speed. Hopefully. All right, let's scan that one. Okay, let's look at the others now. So yeah, it's a quick way, quicker way of doing it. Just look at ah, one thousand four hundred and fifty. Asteroid. Oh, where's that one? Is it a long way away? I'm well, not that far. Far enough though. How far away? 16 kilometers. Let's go. Cool. Go to stop. Always stop when you go out like this, especially amongst the, while you're in amongst asteroid field. No. 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 Oh no, just two asteroids out of all that lot. I suppose it's better than nothing. Hmm. Come on, Scorpio, where are you? I know you're not as fast as the um, Kestrel, but... Hmm. The LFL is not showing us anything, is it? Let's get towards the gate. Well, it's the only gate we can go through. There's not another one here. It's just <coughs> I'm not sure where Perpetual... What's the name of the place again? Perpetual Sin is on the map. I'm not trying to look at the map. Oh, I, I see where it is. Oh, wait a minute. It shows you a south gate. Not an east gate. That's a bit weird. Hmm. We'll check this out when we get the Scorpion here. We'll do a search. Well, I'll do I'll wait until the scorpion gets here and we'll have a look here because it's supposed to be a hmm not a gate it might be a um, what you call it one of those that you discover I'm not sure but anyway I'll be back in a mo okay back with Scorpy didn't take him long to get to me um, <coughs> what I want to do now is um, let's just check what that gate says because according to the map that I've got on my other screen there's another gate to the east, uh, to the south, not the east gate so let's just check what that says um, let's see Gate, Xenon Hub Oh that's back to the hub Oh wait a minute, we got to search for something here Let's oh, see the gate, mate. The gate we came through. So, so we've got to discover something in here. It could be miles off centre somewhere. Let's have a look. Because I've not been in this sector before, on any of my previous statements. I've done this four times, up to the plot and afterwards. So let's see what happens. We've got to find. Come on, that LFL. Show me something. Um, <coughs> uh, the easiest way to do this, I've got Explorer software, so let's stop a second.
Map Sector, Perpetual Sin, from the center, um, are we, what's our horizontal, okay, oh freaking no, it's right below, we're miles away, that's the center point there, I'm looking, it's, well, we're quite above aren't we, so let's go to that, so <coughs> it's quite a big sector, so let's do 100 to start with, 100 is 100 kilometers, a, kil a hundred kilometer circle, so to speak. Autopilot activated. Now I've got to watch this because I need to do this in this screen, so I can see if we spot anything. But I also need to look through and see my icon, see if that changes. You can just see the icon just about. You probably won't see it in the video, but I can see it here. So if I now put Sator on, and hopefully. Uh oh, have I done a save? Hold on. <laughs> um, let's quickly do a save. Just in case. I've only got eight flowers insurances left. In Sator in here, we could hit a roid. It could be a bit dodgy. And so, yeah, let's, let's give it a go. <coughs> I need to see if that icon will change. The F L LFL change? But there's something in this system, there's, there's another gate here, where you have to put the relay satellites down. But the LFL, LFL is not showing it at the moment. That's on that level, they're all going through the gate. Well look at all those missiles, something's been going on here. Oh, got it, there we go. There we go, got it. So that's an easy way of doing it. Just use the explorer, but let's explore it a bit more in case something pops up. Another indication is if you can see some ships, a lot of their ships going in a particular direction, you can find a hidden gate that way by following them. But I'm just going round here, see if we see any more. No, we haven't. <coughs> Nothing findable up here, but it looks like the LFL would have done something by now. It's still a normal icon. But this is a quick way of finding something. Well, it's not quick. I mean, it's forwarding time. You know, all those nice missiles, but I'm not going to pick them up now. Because I want to get on to the next one. Okay, nothing up here. Let's get to the south gate. Autopilot off. See the south gate, Duke Citadel. Um, perpetual sin. Oh, I see. Oh, there's a um, shipyard there. Gate, Duke's Citadel. Let's go. Full speed ahead. <laughs> And then we'll get um, the nemesis to follow us when we get past it, that is. So it doesn't come round in a circle. That's what they gen generally tend to do. Command accepted. Oh, oh I thought I was going to hit that roid. <laughs> That's dangerous doing what I just did there. I could have crashed into that roid. Never go into the menu screen in, um, when you're inside an asteroid field. And if you're on SATA as well, dangerous or what? Now I haven't <coughs> checked any of these sectors before, so... Entering oh, Duke's Citadel. What have we got in here? Let's have a look. Oh, it's probably a page. Journal page. I hope I'm going to be able to balance these races somehow. <coughs> Wait. If not, it's going to get on my nerves. I know it will. Oh. 
Yeah, it's got to be a page. Be nice if it's an engine tuning, wouldn't it? But I think they're random. I don't think they're going to be. If I can say you found one, and then you know gave information to somebody else. Hyperspeed access oh, point. Oh another one! Whoa, look at now what we got here. Another hyperspeed point. Wonder where that goes. Cool. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? I've actually caught three uh, relays on me, which is handy. Let's use the mouse. Slow down, slow down. The only problem with this, your ships can't go through it, and it costs a million to make a, uh, it usable for everybody. Um, your, I think your ships, you have to direct them into the system, it won't fly through it. That's close enough. It's got to be within one kilometre. What? Where are they? Oh, sugar! They're not on me! <laughs> They're on the Nemesis. I put them on the Nemesis, didn't I? Where is Nemesis? Is she here? Come on, Nemi. Where are you? Are you in here yet? I doubt it. Yeah, she's here. Oh, there's a Xenon. The Xenon's closer. <laughs> Let's target him. Xenon M. It's an M. Go get him, hopefully. <gasps> so he's 71 kilometers away. Oh, fucking hell, it's miles. He's on the way to uh, the Nemesis anyway. Let's go. <coughs> I forgot to transfer it over. The relay satellites. Oh, go. Oh, they'll kill it pretty quick. No aim. Ah, they're gone, look. They've gone. They suddenly... That's a bit weird. I don't think they were shot down. They just disappear. Hmm. Gate. Perpetual sin. Perpetual sin. So that's where it goes. Come on, Nemi. Come and stop by me. There we go. Nemesis. Don't crash into me though. Where are we? Freight exchange. Relay beacon, there we go. Relay beacon transferred. Cool. Let's get back there and open it up. You got a uh, equipment dock here and no, that's the shipyard. And that's the equipment dock. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Could get some weapons. Hope they've got some. The last one didn't. 43 minutes. I've got to watch my time on these videos. I don't want to go too much over an hour. With this style of game, you've got to do it for an hour at least, because otherwise it, it's very um, long. The X3 games are very, very intensively long <laughs> doing everything if you did a um, convoy protection mission that could take as much as um, an hour long some of them wait you can't crash into it this <laughs> oh I don't want the uh, I don't want the Nimi to come all the way over here let's stop him Command accepted. <coughs> right, where was he? One is Aldo. Relay beacon ejected. Haranid shipyard. Once we've opened it, 
we won't go through it yet. We need to do a save and all that business. And then I'll probably call it here. And then go discover as many sectors as I can. Alright, that'll do. Relay beacon. Relay beacon ejected. Next one. We'll go through it, but we'll pop back straight back just to go through it to discover it. But I need to go and check those. Shipyard and that out. I don't want to sell the Nemesis to the uh, Paradins. Okay, that'll do. Relay beacon ejected. Mission complete. All right, where is it? Let's go through it. Hyperspeed access point. Okay. How far are we away for? Uh, it's at three kilometers when it activates. Command accepted. Entering Duke's Citadel Beta. Hmm. Nothing discoverable here. Well, not this end anyway. What's that gate? Let's have a look. Gate Sanctuary of Darkness. Nice name. <coughs> okay, nothing else that I can see in here. Empty sector. Loads of roids, well I'm not, not going to look at them right now. Okay, let's get back. Hyperspeed access point, Duke's Citadel. Go. <coughs> Try and time it so that we don't go whizzing past it. This one that hits three. Command accepted. Entering Duke's Citadel. Right, let's go and have a look at the uh Paranet equipment dock. The equipment dock, see what it's got. nice and close and just immediately do because I've got a docking computer so we can get straight in successfully docked in the name of priest emperor czar our priest duke welcomes all friends of the paranid I don't know board. connection to local trading network established. no packs no packs at all anything else I need here hold on patrol <clears throat> I don't want patrol. the patrol command on this ship. How much is it? Let's have a look. <coughs> well, we could transfer it by... Yeah. So I've got two million, so let's, let's buy Patrol that. Patrol command software installed. You have gained... Hmm. Flight command two. Yeah, we've got everything there. <coughs> I need a five MJ shield though. Oh, look, they haven't got them. Oh, look. What a bummer. Concussion. I've got some rapier missiles. How much are they? Well, not much. We'll keep them. What? Have I got them? No. I'll just give them. Rapier missile sold. 
Got nothing, have a they? Not really. Found in many okay, let's just do a save. Oh. Okay, this is where I call it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that session. Um, I'm still not going to mod it yet. We'll see how it goes. Um, I still don't know yet what I will do, whether I actually sell the ene the nemesis or not this time. But um, we'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So I hope you enjoyed this session and keep watching, guys. I've got if I get one or two likes, I'm happy enough. You're actually liking a lot more than usual. So I'm getting a minimum of a three or four likes a, a um, show, so to speak. So if you do like it, give us a tick. It does make me feel good. Um, so I thank those that have liked the ones so far. I hope you're going to carry on doing that. And I will catch you in the next one.